Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do a review of a new mouse that I just received, the Logitech G502 X Plus. Uh, a really, really cool mouse. I was really impressed with it. So we're gonna talk a, a little bit about it. First of all, the G502 was one, one of the most popular mouse in the market. A lot of people play with it. And now you have like the Cadillac version of it. Uh, it's really comfortable and a really also slick design. So we're gonna start with the spec for this mouse. First of all, it's a mouse that you will recharge it by USB-C, as you can see over there. You don't have any dock that comes with it. So it's purely like just with your cable. Uh, for um, the weight of it is 106 grams. So not that bad if you compare it with the original G502. So it's a lot uh, lighter and also it's wireless. So you don't have any cable drag uh, that will come with the mouse. Uh, for the 8, it's 131 millimeter long. So pretty huge mouse. Um, with its 41 millimeter and you have six, 79 millimeter for the depth. Um, you have eight different zones of RGB lighting on your mouse. Uh, so pretty cool. You can change it all the, the way that you want. I'm going to show you the G-Hub after that. A lot of different customization that you can do over there. Uh, the sensor is the Eero 25K. And you can have like a max DPI of 2500, 600K. Honestly, 25,600K, sorry. Honestly, I don't know who's playing with that. But, but me, I was playing with this mouse at 800 DPI. And the last one is the uh, warranty. The warranty is a two-year um, warranty. And honestly, the uh, customer service with Logitech is pretty amazing. I, I had a issues sometimes with my product like my old g35 headset and uh, they were pretty amazing when they, uh, i've called them and for the price this is kind of expensive it's 159 dollars usd not that bad in usd but uh, for my canadian fellows um the cost of it is 219 dollars so um, pretty costly mouse, but uh, it's a premium mouse. So first of all, we're gonna start with the build quality of this. Uh, it's pretty amazing. I play with a lot of like gaming mouse, you know, with like 56 gram and very light mouse. And now I, I know what is like a premium mouse. Uh, it's pretty amazing. The, like the weight distribution is almost perfect. You have some nice texture grip over there. That's pretty cool. Also a nice feature over there. They have like some kind of like the sniper button that they call it. Um, you can change your DPI on the fly when you hold this button. So for an example, when I play a shooter, I always play at 800 DPI. But uh, when I use a sniper, I really like to have a lower sensitivity. So I just hold this and I'm going at 400 DPI on the fly. Just do my snipe shot, switch the gun and you're good to go. So really cool feature. If you don't like that, you can uh, remove the button over there and you have a, a plastic cap that will just block the hole over there if you don't like that feature. Um, so for the build quality, no rattle, no cracking, no flexing, everything looks very fine. Uh, I'm really impressed also with the click. This is probably one of the best click on the market. They are very precise. You don't want to have weird traveling when you click on it. Uh, they're, honestly, the feeling, you feel that it's a mechanical click. It's really, really good. So maybe it's me. I'm playing with bad mouse, but this one is really great for that. Also, I really like the style of it. So the RGB light that you can see over there, very cool. If we're going under the mouse, you have some um, PTFE feet. And they're pretty large also. Those kind of mouse, like bigger mouse, sometimes I feel like they don't like very well. But this is not the case of this mouse. And also, it's kind of heavy at 106 gram, But you have like big, large feet and they're going very well. Uh, I'm using it on my Linus Tech um, mat and it's pretty good. Also, you have some magnetic cover that you can remove over there. You can put your uh, USB dongle if you want. You're going to a LAN party or whatever. You can do that do that easily the magnetic is also strong so it's not like you can move this very easily so that's pretty good you don't have any ra random rattle when you move it so for me it's a uh, nice to have uh we're going to talk a little bit about the cable it comes with a dongle like this usb-c uh just a reminder Always be very near from your mouse when you're playing wireless to make sure that you have the best performance. The only thing that I can tell about the, this uh, cable, sorry for the focus, it's not braided, so I would like to have it maybe braided, but the quality of the cable is really good. It's not like you bought like a 
$4 USB cable on Amazon. It's pretty good. It will not break and it's very sturdy. Now let's talk about video games. Um, I play a lot of like FPS with it. Also, I did some Age of Empire, uh, League of Legends. I work a lot with it, some video editing also. So me, I really like to use my mouse and claw grip or fingertip for first person shooter. And this is not the mouse for that. It's really like for palm gripper. My uh, end size is 18.5 centimeter long. And for me, I can't really like go with claw or uh, fingertip with it. So for first person shooter, it was okay, but it was not the best mouse for me. But I was really surprised in League of Legends uh, and uh, Age of Empire. I really liked it. Normally, I always play claw grip, but honestly, the click are so amazing and it's very comfortable. I didn't have like any cramp in my um, in my hand after two hours. I always have that with I play when I play with uh, claw grip mouse. So really, really good. And also, when you do like some work on Windows and or just video editing, really cool mouse. You have a lot of different button macros that you can program. And again, it's very comfortable. You can work like five five hour long without any issue. So for the performance, I'm really, really impressed with it. So now we're going to go in g -Hub. I'm going to show you what we can do with it. And after that, I will give you my conclusion. So now the g -Hub, you have a lot of different options that you can do with this mouse. It's pretty crazy. So first of all, when you connect your mouse with the g -Hub, you're just seeing this. Uh, you can activate the onboard memory, so that's pretty cool. So you just have to click on it and all your parameter will be saved in the memory in your mouse. So if you're, I don't know, you're going to a LAN party, you don't have your computer or you just like want to use the onboard memory, you can do it easily with this. Also, you have the device setting over there. You will see your battery level, uh, the number of hour, like uh, the power consumption between like system report rate, lightning. So pretty cool. You can see that over there. Uh, inactivity setups over here. If you have a firmware update, it, you're going to do the, the, the firmware update over there. So this is pretty much like classic settings. So when you click on it after that, you have a lot of different configuration that you can do. So the first one is the sensitivity. You can just like select which DPI that you want. You can just like drag and drop it if you want. For me, I always play at 800 and I'm using the DPI uh, switcher on the fly, the DPI shift. Uh, on the G502X at 400 DPI. So for example, I'm playing uh, Battlefield. I always like use an assault rifle. I like my 800 DPI, but when I take a sniper uh, on the fly, I always play at 400. So I just like hold my DPI shift, do a snipe shot, going back to my assault rifle and you can straight up go to 800 DPI. So really neat feature over there that you can do. So you can remove some DPI. You can add them if you want more over there. Uh, your uh, polling rate also, I'm using the 100,000 Hertz. For assignment, you have a lot of different options. So comment, keys, action, macros, if you want to do those, you have two different view on your mouse. You have the first one that you can see all your button over there and you have your second view to the DPI shift, the button that was telling you about the forward and the back over there. So pretty cool. And also you have the light sync over there. Uh, if you're, uh, <laughs> you have different setup with your light sync, you want to merge it with your uh, keyboard, your monitor and stuff like that. You can definitely go there. You have like preset that you can change on the fly. Uh, freestyle, if you just want to custom your mouse by yourself, you have a lot of different options over here. And all those animation that you can change also effect, cycle and the speed of your animation. Again, you have your battery level over there. I really like Logitech when you, um, you have a couple of hours left, you you have some kind of notification to telling you. Uh, I was playing uh, like I think last week my, with my Pulsar wireless and the mouse just like died when I was playing. I didn't even know. Logitech gives you like uh, a reminder that you need to charge your, your uh, battery. So again, really cool feature. g -Up for me is the best software right now if you compare with all the other brand on the market. So really cool. So now let's go back to the mouse itself. To conclude, this mouse is a 9.5 on 10 for me, but I will explain something. If you're looking for a mouse with like very low um, weight and you're playing, you always play claw grip or fingertip, you will not like this mouse. It's a little bit too uh, big and too bulky. 
uh, it's not for you. But for the majority of the people who don't really care about that, 106 gram is really good for a mouse like that. And you have a lot of button that you can use. And honestly, you just buy it and you will have no issue. The build quality is amazing. Clicks are amazing. The sensor is amazing. The glide is pretty good uh, and it's very comfortable. So I don't have anything bad to say about this mouse. And you're getting a very performance like wireless mouse. So it's pretty, pretty good. So yeah, for me, I'm I'm still using it, honestly. When I play first person shooter, I just change my mouse, but I really like to work with this mouse. So if you have any question about it, just comment in the YouTube section. I've tested more than 75 mouse, so you can definitely ask me any question about any mouse to compare it or whatever. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.